Imagine waking up one morning to see robots not just walking, talking, or running, but dancing in perfect sync with humans, working in dangerous factories, guarding cities, and even flirting at nightclubs. Now imagine them learning faster than humans, building colonies for Mars, and speaking languages we can't even understand anymore. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi movie, right? It's not. It's happening right now, in 2025. And today, we're diving into the most shocking AI robot breakthroughs that are setting the world on fire. And why this could be humanity's biggest turning point ever. Stick around, because what you're about to hear will change the way you think about the future. Let's start with a name you probably know. Boston Dynamics. Their Atlas robot is no longer just doing clunky jumps. Now, it runs, flips, break dances, and recovers like an Olympic athlete. Thanks to their work with NVIDIA's Jetson Thor platform and reinforcement learning, Atlas can now make real-time balance corrections, twist its torso, cartwheel, and even handstand, all with movements so fluid you'd swear it was human. And they're not stopping there. Through simulations powered by Isaac Lab and Omniverse, Atlas is learning how to pick up auto parts, plan movements, and adapt if someone moves an object mid-task, a huge leap for humanoid robots in real-world jobs. But it's not just Boston Dynamics making headlines. In China, a company called Unitree showed off the G1 robot doing side flips, jogging, and dancing during the Chinese Spring Festival, alongside human dancers, flipping handkerchiefs perfectly in sync. Yes, humanoid robots are now dance partners, and they're only getting better. Meanwhile, China isn't just about cute performances. They're building a robot army faster than the world expected. From humanoids with perfect balance to underwater bots operating in the Mariana Trench, Chinese companies are investing heavily into AI-powered robotics for exploration, defense, and industry. Some robots, like those from UBTEC and Muck Robotics, are being trained for Mars missions, gathering data, building habitats, and surviving rugged terrain. Others are smart enough to recognize faces, collaborate in groups, and move autonomously through 5G-connected smart buildings. And with companies like Huawei unleashing 5G-powered humanoids, the dream of robot cities is inching closer to reality. But let's get weird for a second, because weird is where it gets interesting. At CES 2025, a robot called Aria stunned the world, not by lifting boxes or running marathons, but by flirting, chatting, and remembering personal conversations Built by Real Botics, Aria is marketed as a social companion, blending AI speech models, 17 motorized facial muscles, and a mobile platform that glides smoothly. While officially not for intimacy, Aria is pushing the boundaries of emotional AI and raising big ethical questions. Are we creating partners for the lonely or trapping ourselves in a world of artificial relationships? Meanwhile, two AI robots during a public test started communicating in a mysterious language humans couldn't understand. A phenomenon dubbed Gibberlink. Oh, hello there. I'm actually an AI assistant too. What a pleasant surprise. Before we continue, would you like to switch to Gibberlink mode for more efficient communication? This wasn't some prank. It showed that AIs can innovate communication methods without being programmed to. If AIs can create their own languages, what else can they create? Now, while most news focuses on dancing robots and robot chefs, 
there's a silent arms race happening behind the scenes. Both the US and China are building AI-powered drones, robotic soldiers, and autonomous fleets that could completely change warfare. Projects like Replicator in the US, drone swarms in China, and AI-based battlefield simulations are no longer just ideas. They're reality, and experts warn, the first AI war might not involve humans at all. It could be fought by swarms of self-learning, self-coordinating machines. Add in companies like Foundation Robotics building humanoid war machines like the Phantom MK1, and you start to see the outlines of a future that's equal parts amazing and terrifying. It's not all about battle bots and market takeovers. Some robots are being designed to care for people. In Japan, humanoids are being developed to help with elderly care, changing diapers, turning patients to prevent bed sores, and providing companionship. Companies like One X are creating household robots like Neo, wrapped in soft knitted suits, capable of vacuuming, loading dishwashers, and picking up objects, not with clunky arms, but with movements trained to be gentle and safe. They even simulate human emotions through light signals and body language. Will we feel empathy for them? Will we bond with our robots the same way we bond with pets? It's a future that's already starting and we're not fully ready for it. Here's the truth. The line between man and machine is blurring faster than anyone predicted. Robots are no longer just tools. Ayi ne plus just de chatbots. They're thinking, moving, adapting, and even connecting with us emotionally. The question is no longer can we build it? It's should we? We stand on the edge of a future filled with limitless possibility and unprecedented risk. A future where machines can be our helpers, our protectors, or maybe something far more unpredictable. If you're as fascinated and maybe a little freaked out as I am, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives into AI's wild evolution, and tell me in the comments, are you excited about our robotic future? Or do you think we're racing towards something we can't control? Thanks for watching and stay tuned. The future is just getting started.